So I hope you have already seen the you know, glimpse of the project. It looks fascinating, looks amazing, which has been created by uh, Rohan Patil. And today's topic is all about this use case, which is going to be product quality analysis. And of course, it's another end-to-end -end Power BI project or an end-to-end -end Power BI dashboard, which we will be going through. And before going through, before talking about the project, a little bit introduction about the one who has actually created this project. So his name is Rohan and uh, he works as a data science analytics intern at Project Pro. And uh, he has good amount of experience on Power BI. He has also worked on a couple of more projects. One of his previous project, which was on COVID-19 analysis and prediction, Power BI dashboard is also published on my channel if you haven't watched it, please go back and watch it. Uh, it's a fabulous project. And again, today we shall be talking about the product quality analysis, which is again created by Rohan Patil. So let's get started. Uh, of course, before getting started, I hope you everybody know that like I don't really talk about the end product. So before talking about the end product, about the dashboard, about the Power BI part, we will also talk about the business understanding of the use case. And then we'll slowly talk about the data source from where the data has been captured by Rohan and what are the procedures, how did he create the measures and all those things. How did he create the background image of the Power BI dashboard? So everything end to end we will be covering. It's not a very high end, you know, uh, I would not say it's a very advanced level of project, but of course people who are fresher for them, it's, it's really good. Now, one request, if you are watching this video and you are a student or coming from some specific domain, just type in in the comment section below so that I can watch out your domain and based on your domain, I can come up with some other projects. So let's say I get more comments from people who are working in the banking sector, I will come up with a banking related Power BI dashboard or a banking related machine learning end-to-end -end use case. Okay, so let's get started, product quality, analysis power bi dashboard so a brief introduction it uh, will be talking about the definition what is product quality what are the different parameters of product quality and how did we design the background image and how did we create the power bi dashboard okay it's a one page dashboard so but anyways the layout the idea is actually fabulous i really liked it and that was the main reason i i i, I pinged rohan and I just asked this per permission and here we are, we are creating a video on that. So what is product quality analysis? Now, it's a very generic concept, right? Product quality analysis, it, it depends upon the product. For example, you are working on some specific e-commerce domain. For that, you can analyze one specific product. That could be this one, or else you are working on something else. So product quality analysis is basically analyze what the quality of the product is. So quality management is a must to deliver high quality products and services to the customers, right? And what is product quality analysis? The definition, the group of features and characteristics of a sellable good, which determines its desirability and which can be controlled by a manufacturer to meet certain basic requirements defines product quality. Okay, product quality is the product's ability to fulfill the expectations and needs set by the end user. So we have some focus on product quality before production, during production, after production. I leave this PPT along with the uh, material so that you can go through this PPT, understand what basically it is. Because if you are writing these kind of projects in your resumes, you should always be clear on the business understanding. You cannot go to the interviews directly talk that, hey, I have worked on churn analysis. And if they ask you, what is churn analysis? Probably you will not be able to answer, right? So business understanding is must. So the eight parameters of product quality is performance, features, reliability, conformance, durability, serviceability, aesthetics, and perceived quality. Okay, you probably go ahead and check out more blogs on product quality analysis. And we'll talk about the dashboard background the data was basically captured from one of the public data sources. We really don't remember, even Rohan doesn't remember about the data set. But yeah, the idea is not working on some specific use case. The idea is how you take a data, 
how you create a dashboard how how creative can you become what all kpis can you show right so the dashboard background this is how the dashboard background has been created you can see of course how to create it i have already talked about in couple of my videos as well canva.com or snappa.com or any kind of tool where you have to design something and when you start working on a power bi dashboard you probably start doing your you know uh, start placing your blogs start placing your charts and then you analyze okay here i can put like this like this like this and based on that thinking you start creating your background image of course it's a hit and trial you create fit in then see if something is wrong so it's a iterative process right and that's how he has created this total task sample number of samples number of defects so he's obviously going to share you the cards here like he's going to display the cards over here number of defects fatal errors quality score something like that and here probably he will fit in some uh, charts some bar charts and something and then the dashboard will look good right and talking about the final dashboard this is how the final dashboard looks like now of course this is just an image but if i show you the uh, power bi dashboard which we we already saw in the beginning of the video it looks amazing because the background of it is basically a gif file it's a moving object file so it's it really looks stunning so let me switch back to the power bi dashboard you can see this is how it looks like i mean the first time i had a look i was really amazed because i i have never done these kind of things i mean of course there are option to do it but i have never done it now i'll talk about how he has created this kind of features this is nothing but a button but i'll just explain you how to do that of course how to create these kind of boxes we already know these are just your uh, bar charts and these are your these are your cards so he's just pasting the cards you can see if i click on here probably you will see it. so this is nothing but total task what is total task probably a measure right so let me click on this okay it's not a measure it's a existing column so what is this one 9860 i think the percentage ones are the calculated fields yeah this one sampling percentage so you can see if i click on this i'm getting the formula right divide of sum of samples and uh, divided by total task right similarly defects what are defects defect percentage so these are the measures he has created and these are the numbers right total task total sample so that's it the cumulative sample so you can see if you click on here click on your formatting uh, click on your uh, this one this is nothing but the sum of samples so this is a got chart and bar charts now i'll show you how he has created this kind of feature now we'll talk about one new page so let's say the first task is of course fitting the page background so i'm just taking an image so picture one transparency 100% and make it 0% then fit okay fitting is done then what we need to do is we need to insert a button and there are multiple buttons here we will be using a blank button so blank button so i'm just giving an idea okay so if you like this way if you like uh, only this way it's up to you right so i'm just showing you how that feature comes in so blank button is created once the blank button is created i will just turn off everything in the i'll just turn everything go to fill turn on the fill transparency let it be i will add one image now here i am adding a gif file gif or gif whatever you call it so this is a gif file if you want to look at it this is how a gif file looks so it's a moving object right i mean we already know what a gif file is right so i'll just click on this and then probably i will do fit simple transparency is 100% and this is how it looks like 
and on top of this you can randomly place your charts or your card or whatever it is if i just do this and just uh, of course my screen is coming let's say i just take something okay and then then you just place your things right let's say sample it doesn't really matter but yeah what i'm trying to show is this is how it can be done you just have to add it and then that's it right and yeah of course the samples just change the names of these things so you you're getting it right so that that's that's how simple it is so probably we will send you this pbix file so that you can go through and uh, i hope you learned something new and for definitely my suggestion would be to of course pbix files and we are making it public so you can definitely go through and check out it but it's always recommended that you yourself pick some data based on your industry let's say you're working in telecom industry try to get the use cases and then based on the use cases try to get the data from kaggle or from any other source and blindly just start working on some dashboard and of course by doing this you get your hands on experience as well right and for freshers of course you are like water you can take any form you can take any shape just pick any use case so my recommendation would be to go through all these kind of pbx files but don't copy paste directly and show it in your resume it doesn't look good so just take ideas and do it okay i'm just closing this one and i'll show you the metrics what has been used let me delete it uh this is one of the pages which he has created employee tip it's basically a quality score by your employee name okay and this tip he is basically adding in all the features let's say you are hovering over this one so you're getting this right so this is a tool tip feature now how to add tool tip to a particular dashboard or a particular chart click on the chart go to your formatting options go down go to tool tip and then just add the page so here we are adding the employee tip tool tip as the tool tip okay and you can see i have already hidden the file hidden the page so employee tool tip currently we are able to see because it's power bi desktop but once we publish it we will not be able to see so let's try to publish it and see of course when before the video recording itself i have already published it so i'll publish it again just for your sake save it and publish it and then we'll see the power bi service the app.powerbi.com so testing replace because I, i already told you we have already published it i'm uh, in parallel i'm currently working on more than 5 to 6 different projects as well so one by one it will be coming live but in case you already have some end to end projects be it power bi tableau machine learning ai anything feel free to reach me out on linkedin satyajit i want to you know publish my project or these kind of codes on your channel through your channel reach out to me i'm i'm really open for these kind of contents because it's really difficult for me as well to make videos so once i get contents from you it's a win win situation for all right so subscribers get new content i get new videos for my channel and you get your publicity your social media publicity right so the things has been uploaded okay and okay this was the canva one sorry and if i go back to app.powerbi.com i'll just refresh the page testing and then you can see quality check dashboard if i open this i shouldn't be able to see the employee tool tip right so you can see i'm just able to see one page that's it so tool tip is basically hidden okay it's it's loading little bit time okay your tool tip is visible but that page is hidden so for your app.powerbi.com it's not visible so you can definitely you know download the file or export it into ppts or pdfs if you want to embed these kind of projects of course you can embed it as well you just have to embed report and you can just take the html codes and just embed it in your websites 
Okay, these things are quite possible, but yeah, of course you need Power BI Pro for that. So that's it for today's video. Uh, these are just simple KPIs which has been created, samples versus defects. So just click on it and check. You just have to click on it and check, okay, what are, what are the columns being used? Okay, employee name and uh, samples in the x-axis and defects in the y-axis. So it's all self-exploration. I hope you got my point. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. In case you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe the channel. I will leave the description. I'll leave the contents along with the PPT, which I showed you uh, in the description below. And that's it. I will come up with some new topics very soon. That's it for today's video. Thank you.